These attacks come just days after the arrest of Salah Abdeslam in Belgium. He is suspected of planning the coordinated terror attacks in Paris last November and said to be the last of the group that were part of those operatives that were on the run. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge, live in Washington today. So, Catherine, what are your sources telling you about whether there's a connection between this attack and the arrest of Abdeslam? Well, Martha, good morning. A counterterrorism source tells Fox News that the priority for investigators on the ground in Brussels is the identification of the suicide bomber or bombers so that they can lead to a wider network. One of the working theories we're told is that the arrest last Friday of Salah Abdesalam accelerated an existing plot that was in the pipeline to target the metro, metro system in Brussels, Belgium, as well as the airport. But once Salah Abdesalam was picked up on Friday, the operatives decided to move forward the date of execution. Also this morning, we're told by a counterterrorism source that an, a credible ISIS account has posted a message that reads in part, Mosul revenge for Kufr capital Brussels. Kufr is a term used by ISIS and related groups to speak of the non-believers and Western nations. This does not amount to a claim of responsibility, but it's another data point going back to an ISIS-affiliated group. Also within the last hour, we've had confirmation from the authorities on the ground in Brussels that a Kalashnikov assault rifle was also found at the airport near one of the suicide Side bombers. A Kalashnikov rifle is the same type of weapon that was used in Paris and that is widely trained on in Syria by ISIS and Al Qaeda followers, Martha. Yep. Uh, this is a, sort of the most recent attack mm -hmm. that we've seen that combination of the Kalashnikov Correct. rifle on site mm -hmm. with the suicide belts in combination. It looks very much mm -hmm. like what we saw in Paris, um, as you have been telling us this morning, Catherine. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of the response here at home, what does U.S. law enforcement do to sort of prepare us for any potential attack here? Well, we've been reporting since very early this morning that the Secretary of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson, has been briefed by his operations center. He is fully engaged, as is the FBI and the National Counterterrorism Center. This was the hub for threat analysis that was set up after 9-11. It's kind of the clearinghouse for all of the threat information. What we understand through our contacts is that the U.S. intelligence community is going back over the last 96 hours of intelligence to see if any warnings were missed that seem more important today than they did over the weekend in terms of flagging the upcoming attack in Brussels, Belgium, and whether having given a sort of a second look or a refresh to the intelligence, there's a change in the thinking about whether there may be a credible or specific threat targeting uh, the United States. That conclusion has not been reached at this point, but we were also told that there will be a specific focus on these soft targets, the security surrounding them, and in particular, these public areas of the airports where we saw the attack in Brussels this morning, and which has already been flagged by the TSA administrator to Fox News as an area of deep concern for aviation security. Yeah. Catherine, thank you.